We are black and beautiful people. And together we will win. And it's so interesting that the first uh, statement, the first has to do with coming together in the unity of God. So I welcome you. And I thank God for giving us this opportunity to be able to come together from different nationalities, different perspectives, knowing that we're all one. We're all in the same boat with this world. We all need each other. So my brothers and sisters, this is the beginning of something that is so important to all of us. Not only to the young and the children to know about their heritage, but to others to know about other people's heritage, to understand each other's heritage. I'm proud of my heritage, but I'm also proud of other people's heritage. And I welcome you to this place where we come together to help each other, to strengthen each other, to bring consolation to each other. And this is the beginning. I'm so glad that it's here at Governor's St. Augustine Church that has been for a long time in the church. And then next door, there's a building that was built in 1910 when the youth of our community did not have a place, and some of those that are a little older uh, probably came to this place here and they met their future wives. They used to play uh, different games in there, and build us, and Ed name it, because it was called the Young Man Hall of Color. And this was the place there, and still standing. So it makes me more proud, and it makes St. Augustine Church very proud that the beginning of Kwanzaa, it's here, in an area where a lot of people said, where you are pastoring? Governor said, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, here we are. This is what God wants all of us to begin and to continue the unity of the Spirit of God. So, welcome. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Come together. My name is K.K. McDaniel, Kevin McDaniel to some others, but K.K. is, is best. Uh, so we're here to celebrate Kwanzaa. Before I start, I need to respect and acknowledge my elders and ask them for permission to begin this ceremony. Yeah. I say we got permission. Thank you. You said that I lived in Springfield, Massachusetts. We did things like this, but I don't remember having seven consecutive days. And I think that not only is this wonderful for our community, but it is wonderful for all of the 52 different nationalities and then some in this city. I did blast this to everybody so that everybody could know what it is we are also doing here. I commend the coordinators. This is a lot of work. Not only will you see me tonight, and we, we will see each other tomorrow, right? I can't help believe that it's fit. 
fear? What is the fear? What are we afraid of? Why we won't love together? Why we won't come together? Why we won't work together? We have to come together. We cannot do this thing divided. We're only going to survive it if we do it together. Glad to be here. Uh, I grew up across the street from this church, and I remember the first time I celebrated Kwanzaa, which was in 1970-something, in the right. year two after Kwanzaa. Sorry. Right. Yeah. And I, my mother, Al Moody, a couple of other people that had in the room, we were the first people in Patterson to celebrate Kwanzaa. You know, we were wearing daishikis and stuff way before it was fashion. We were talking about the late 60s. So I'm glad to see our people here. I'm glad to see people from other faiths and everything learning about Kwanzaa, learning about what black people went through in this country and in East Africa. I have family in East Africa also. So this thing that's coming to get Kwanzaa is something I do anyway. You know, even if we weren't here celebrating, I would still be celebrating Kwanzaa. Particularly with people like Moody and the rest of us who have been doing this for over 30 years. So I'm glad to see that everybody is now learning about Kwanzaa, and hopefully you'll learn more. And at one time, I was even up here being one of the main speakers, speaking about Kwanzaa. That was a long time. Thank you. And I want you, as you progress through this week, you're going to find out a lot more about Kwanzaa and what those seven principles mean and how you can put those things into action in our community right here in Patterson. We are black and beautiful people, and together we will win.